The fourth industrial revolution brings with it incredible opportunities to get ahead of the pack with regards to technology. To prepare for the 4IR summit, which the province will be hosting, the Free State Government, in partnership with the Central University of Technology, is here at the Naval Hill Planetarium to ensure that the Free State is not left behind with regards to 4IR. To know more, Arzene Mote. Many people do not want to enter into change quickly. We are already in the times of fourth industrial revolution. Whether you don't want to enter, it's immaterial, you're already there. And I want to alleviate fears. And I was sitting there and listening, hey man, I want to do that here. I got a cosette and said it and so on and so on. You must look at areas in the fourth industrial revolution that will assist you to deal with the challenges that you're having. Not taking the whole package. Huh? Not take the whole package, look at issues that will help you. For an example, me. I'm saying in my own department, I need to respond to crime as and when it's about to happen. One of the important issues that the fourth industrial revolutions would be bringing to the health uh, services would be to help, especially now that we are talking about universal health coverage in the national health insurance, where people will be able to access quality health, that they'll be able to access the help of the specialists, not having to travel from, let's say, Kwakwa or from Frankfurt to come and travel, come to Bloemfontein Universitas or Pilonomi, they can access the help of the specialist where they are in remotely because of the fourth industrial revolution. Success that this summit would have brought if, if, if we evaluate later on would be learning from these individuals who are going to present, who are in countries that have created employment revolution through fourth industrial revolution. It has created a situation where the uh, young people in those countries, some of them have become billionaires because they are ahead of innovation. And therefore, we are hopeful that the, uh, this summit will once more provoke the sleeping giant in our young people in terms of bringing new ideas, but also in terms of ensuring that uh, a government moves at the same pace as new uh, innovations that come with young people. Professor, doctor, you are definitely going to assist us that after this summit, we must be able to say, this is what we are going to do, when are we going to do it? And this summit is going to assist us with one, two, three, four, five. And indeed, we are going to change the economy of the free state. 744,000 are young people. Are young people, and these 744 young people are, of course, the future of the free state. So please, let us be clear. With this summit, next year when we have a summit, we must be able to read. This summit has assisted so many young people and Ribere Bua got the way forward, not to say we are going to repeat the very same summit. And I want the summit not to be once off, but to be hopefully every year after this, hopefully, growing and growing and growing. And I've become the best summit in South Africa talking about 4IR. Because why not? Why, why can't the free state not be the best? There's no reason why we can't be the best. So that would be my message, is to go and to all young people, attend the summit, talk to your fellow young ones and say, bring your problems, come and listen, and if you want to study further, study further, do a master's, do a PhD. It's interesting if you look at the countries currently dominating the world in terms of technologies. It's those countries that produce the most PhDs. 
The brief was basically a presentation of what the summit will entail to move our province forward, striving for a smart free state. I am Amokhala Mukubun reporting for Hlasela TV, brought to you by Bombenero Investments in conjunction with the Free State Provincial Government. Till my next assignment.